in Parliament and the government to approve the budget as planned, speed up the construction of the parks infrastructure and uh, avoid delays. Finally, I would like to express my great thanks to Right Honorable, my best brother. Thank you for coming. One of the issues that has again production and promote international markets and the sharing approach. You realize that it's also important for us to promote the, promote the local market and enable our people to bring raw materials here, but also buy products and data and distribute to our people within those four areas. But the biggest challenge that we've tried with, and I would want to maybe help us on that, is the issue of the road network. We would do as the local government and improve them, but in Mali cities are among a few cities without a road unit. It's a bit of a makes it quite very, very difficult for us to even make simple grading, simple improvement because we don't have that. So then this will enable our people to come and they will survive but also supply here. Is that I pray because this place employs so many people in thousands. I pray that we get a health facility. If there is a hospital in this place, I think it will serve the purpose of the health of the workers and also the community as a give back to the community. Because if you look around, there is no health facility around. And also, as the time goes on, if we can have schools around, a primary school and a secondary school, it will be a big boost the community around here. Under the directives of uh, His Excellency President Joe Museveni, government of Uganda is going to invest 400 billion Uganda shillings in transforming this industrial park. We have already signed the contract with China Railway number three, and they are performing. We might have challenges. Mr. Zan, of delayed payment, but the government is government. Government can never fail to pay today. So, working with my honorable colleagues, I know every financial, every quarter, we are supposed to be giving you a paying that like 135 billion Uganda shillings, and the payments have not been going on well. But when I go back, I'm going to ensure that I follow so that we can release money. To do work in the past. That will address the issue of Honorable Masawa talked about because it's part of that major contract. The drainage for the neighboring community is also going to be handled under that 400 billion project. So let's go to ensure the money is released. I also know that uh, Uganda Investment Authority has a presence here, but after my visit here, I'm going to ensure I meet the leadership of Uganda Investment Authority so that we have a full one-stop center in this industrial park. So that if an investor comes here, they don't need to go to Kampara for URA, they don't need to go to Kampara for NSSS, they don't need to go to Kampara for work permit, or done here, because this industrial park deserves that kind of support considering the work you are doing.